Hello, welcome back to another Origin Showcase video. In this Origin Showcase video, we're showcasing the Flincher Origin created by the user known as Mr. Plague. Now, this guy has done a little bit differently to get to my attention by joining my Discord server, link in the description down below, by the way, and sending me a DM asking to take a look at this Origin. Now, normally, I don't intend to respond to these type of things, but this is actually such a high enough quality Origin that it's actually been added in the member's SMP, which in order to join that, you can become a channel member, join the Discord down below. Doing a lot of self promo at start here, aren't I? Either way, this is for version 1.17, and it works in multiplayer servers as long as the world border is set at the normal maximum of 35 million. Anyhow, moving to the origin itself, the flincher is a 3 impact origin, meaning has the maximum amount of impact upon your game. Running through the description, despite being capable of bending space with enough precision to perform a personal pocket dimension, flinchers are quite timid. But before we get started, there are over a hundred thousand of you guys who watch many of my videos, and I just ask you to check to see if you subscribe, because a lot of people binge watch channels and don't even subscribe because, well, YouTube doesn't exactly display that feature that much anymore but it does a lot for the YouTube but not much for the viewer anymore either way let's get into the video stop dilly dallying around let's get into the abilities eh moving into the first ability we've got the pocket dimension ability you can access a personal room where blocks and entities can be stored there's a three second charge up time during this ability punching entities during the charge up will teleport them into the pocket dimension with you you have a limit of 10 non-player entities inside the pocket dimension damage taken from enemies during the charge up is increased so this is your primary ability. When you use your primary ability, it takes a few seconds and you use teleport into this bedrock dimension. It's a 9x9 nine nine area that is the floor is made of bedrock. You cannot fall off to the side of it as it's blocked up completely and this is the main reason why this does not work in a multiplayer world with like a limited world border. If it has a maximum world border then that's fine but that's because the pocket dimension gets put at a random co ward in, the, in a random dimension. I forget the exact precise knowledge that I was told by the actual creator but practically it doesn't exactly work so well when you have a restricted world border. It's super easy to get any form of mobs in there, you just need to give them a love tap while you're in the middle of charging up a teleportation, but be very careful when it comes to hostile mobs as you do take far more damage when you're in the middle of charging up your ability, mainly so you can't just use the charge up in the pocket dimension to escape a battle that you may have potentially been at at the time. Probably my favourite use of this little dimension is either have some form of mini villager trading hall or just it's your main massive storage area. Maybe a mixture of both, have a few villagers in there, have a giant amount assortment of chests and stuff along those lines you can have and keep items in temporarily whilst you're on the move and out and about and then store everything from it into your actual main base and many different uses along those lines that ultimately can help you in your survival and ultimately become really useful in not having to go back to your home base too often as you can carry so much on you without it being in your actual inventory crowding up space Moving into your next ability, you've got Vacuum. You can vacuum all items in a 15 block radius into your inventory. This has a 2.5 second charge up time. Damage taken from enemies during this charge up is also increased, quite like how it is in your charge up time to go to your pocket dimension. Now with this ability here, this is kind of more of a specific use case scenario as there's not going to be very op many opportunities where you're actually going to need something along these lines, but this ability does exist for the case that you might need it. Off the top of my head, I can't exactly think of a good reason to have it. Maybe potentially to clear out items that are clogged up in your farm, like in your system and stuff like that. Let's say using water streams and there's a lot of items clogged up somewhere. Maybe it can be used to clear out that or something along those lines, but I'm not exactly too sure on how, what use case scenario this would have because unless you've got a million items around you in a circle like formation it's going to be quicker just to walk over to the items and pick them up before the, it would charge up and actually summon those items towards you see what i mean there it's like it's got a very specific use case scenario but it'll be really good in that specific use case scenario it's just only got that use scenario and again because it's the same kind of thing as the main ability where you charge up to use the ability charging is when you're your most vulnerable point so you can take more damage moving into the the next ability you've got non-combative. Fighting is not your strong suit. You cannot use shields, you take increased damage from enemies overall and also have a decreased attack range and you get temporarily stunned when attacked by an opponent. Yes, I already know what most of you guys are probably going to say in the comments down below. This is a very heavy nerf when it comes to combat abilities in Minecraft. Now, taking away your shields is quite common within, within Origins. It's very common, it's very normal, it's kind of something that most people who play a lot of Origin mods have gotten used to at this 
this point because it just happens. But to add in addition the fact that you not only will take increased damage from enemies, but you also have decreased attack range, it ultimately will lead to you just never wanting to get involved in any form of close quarters combat. Now using your bows and crossbows from a distance, it will still be fine, but you don't want to get up close because there's so many disadvantages for you to do so. The increased amount of damage you take isn't exactly going to be too drastic of an increase. It ultimately will become extremely bad of an increase when you actually get in your charging mode, but it's still there. It's like probably an extra half a heart on damage you take normally. But the more important thing is the fact that you are very likely to get stun when attacked by an opponent. Now this stun isn't exactly a freeze, but it just massively gives you slow, like a very, very strong dose of slowness that slows you down for a brief few moments. Moving to the next ability, you've got Gremlin. You are small enough to fit into a one block spaces when you're sneaking, however, you're also limited to seven hearts instead of the normal ten. Now, you're about one and a half blocks to 1.25 blocks tall in total. As I said, in the actual ability itself, you can crouch enough to actually hit in a one block spacing, which is really, really useful, but you are still slightly bigger than a block overall when you're not crouching. And then again, you also have the fact that you have seven hearts instead of the ten, so really, this origin is not meant for combat whatsoever. Not only do you take more damage, not only can you get stunned, you also have a lot less health than a normal Minecraft player. It is literally your worst idea to go into combat with this abilities. Now moving to the next ability, you've got pocket spacing compatibility. Your space beam properties interfere with the workings of ender chests and shulker boxes, preventing you from using either of them. Now I'm 90% sure that a lot of you guys probably would have seen something like this coming, considering the fact that the whole pocket dimension thing kind of gives you a massive expanded ender chest slash movable shulker storage that you can have on you at all times and it kind of makes it a bit overpowered if you have the access to ender chests and shulker boxes still. So what the origin creator has done here is removed all access to that and pretty much makes it so that you kind of have to use your pocket dimension as some form of storage area and nothing else much more, mainly because of the fact that you lose access to ender chests and shulker boxes, both of which are super duper helpful when it comes to transporting large amounts of items and keeping good valuable items hidden away in a chest so you don't lose them when you die, but they're just in case you need them at a moment's notice. Moving into the next ability, you've got Wandering Soul. You are nomadic by nature and have adapted to exhaust slower than the normal Minecraft player. Your spirit is restless, relocating you in a 100 block radius around your spawn point when you respawn. Slow moving hunger, yay, you don't have to eat as often. On ultimately, it's one of those abilities you don't really have to acknowledge too much, but the other half of it where you will spawn randomly within 100 blocks of where you're meant to spawn is going to lead to some very interesting spawning spots. From my testing around, you can potentially spawn underneath in a cave somewhere. You can spawn just like 100 blocks away from your house. You can spawn pretty randomly in a random location within 100 blocks of whatever bed you'll put your spawn at. But if you do it at an actual spawn point, the world spawn, you're going to be further away from the actual main spawn area, which is just funny to me. Like the ability is just interesting overall. Another thing that isn't exactly mentioned by the actual origin itself is that this origin also contains a lot of weird and added sounds that it makes very occasionally, as well as new death sounds, as well as a collection of other things like that, which I'll leave to you to experience for yourself. Now this origin is in my members SMP server, and the housing area that I was in amongst when I was showcasing this is from the members SMP itself, so hey, if you want to do that, become a channel member down below, join the Discord server, just join the Discord server anyhow, I'm in there, I talk a bit, I respond to people, all things along those lines. Either way, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and massive thank you to my channel members, especially my $25 channel members, Hollow the Void and Mr. Fletcher, as well as my $10 member, Decept. And until next time, guys, goodbye.